In part one of the training, I'm going to show you how to connect to an OPC DA server, and then we're going to convert that data to OPC UA, and that's all being done with the data hub. So let's jump in to the demo part here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the data hub to the OPC DA server. So we're in our OPC DA section. We're going to click the add button. Uh, we're connecting to uh, my top server, so I'm going to call this connection top server. This is just a friendly name. Uh, you can call it whatever you want. You can then browse the computer for the different servers. In this case, it's the local computer, and I'm connected to the top server. Uh, you have to think of data domains like a just a group of data. So I'm going to call this group top server, and this will be part of the tag name in the data. We'll scan the OPC server at 100 milliseconds. We're going to subscribe to the tags, and I will choose a subset of the tags to, uh, to monitor with Data Hub. I'm going to go down here, and I'll select all of these tags. Click OK. We could load all items on the server if we wanted all of them. Uh, depends on what tag set you want to use. In this case, I just want a couple tags. There are some other options here. These options I'm not going to mess with, but we've added a lot of them to help us be more compatible with different OPC servers that exist out there that may not be following the OPC standard to the T. So we've had to implement certain things just to make us compatible with more, more servers. Click OK. Uh, one of the things that you always have to do in the Data Hub is click the Apply button. The Apply button saves the configuration and activates it. So if we click OK or Apply, we saw our status went to running rather quickly. That's what we want to see. Running means we do have a connection to the server. And if we go to our View Data and Browse, we see we have good quality data that's changing rapidly. So we've done the OPC DA to Data Hub part of this connection. Now we just need Data Hub to serve this data to a UA client. So if we go to our UA section, the first thing we need to do is make sure that Data Hub is acting as a UA server. We are listening on these different ports. And I'm going to use the OPC TCP endpoint, and I can copy that to a clipboard. I'll need that later. You can see here it says the set status of the server is running. That's a good sign. That means we should be able to connect to it. So let's open up our OPC client. This is the UA expert. I'm going to add a new connection to this data hub. You can see here we have the data hub listed already. We're going to add it manually. So if we paste this in here, we're going to use security none. We'll call our configuration name testing, and we will click OK. And when we try to connect to this, this is expected. So in this case, the OPC UA expert does not know about the Data Hub certificate. And what it says here is, do you want to trust this certificate? Currently, it's untrusted. If we want to communicate with Data Hub, we need to trust this on this client side. Now, even though we're using no security, this client does require certificates to be trusted in order to gain communication. Some clients do that, some don't. So uh, just depending on your client, if in what security you use, you may need to trust the certificate. So let's trust this one and continue. And if we go to our settings and manage certificates, you can now see that our data hub certificate is trusted. That's great. Now we did connect and you can see the data here in our top server domain. And we can just add a couple tags and we can see that we've successfully converted between OPC DA and OPC UA. Now, let's disconnect this. Let's remove these tags. And we're going to edit this connection. This time we're going to make a secure connection so you can see how the security certificates are handled on the Data Hub side. So let's do a 256 security and click OK. And this time when we connect, we got an error. That's expected because currently, while well, the client trusted the Data Hub certificate, the data hub has not yet trusted the client certificate. You can see here it's rejected. 
Now we know that this is the client that we connected with, so we could accept all. However, we can manage individual certificates. If you click the manage certificates button here, you get a list of rejected certificates and you can just highlight the UA expert and accept it. Click OK. Notice that it's no longer rejected. If we go to manage certificates and we look in the private cert folder, we will see the UA expert and the discovery server cert. Those are the two things we've trusted in our data hub. If we go back to our client and try to connect, notice the connection happened immediately. The data hub trusts the cert, the client, and the client trusts the data hub server, and that's all that's required to make the OPC UA connection. We can add a tag again and just confirm that it's working, which it is. Hopefully that was helpful to show you how to convert OPC DA data to OPC UA.